Well, I'm back in the hospital. Um, I confirmed with my specialist that I would be in a side room. And I reiterated that to the bed manager when she phoned, when I phoned to see if there was a bed available to me. Uh, and she confirmed I'd be in a side room. And then when I've been admitted, I've said to the nurse who did the admission that I'll be in a side, that I should be in the side room for the duration of the treatment. So theoretically, um, I should now be in my home for the duration of the, the treatment, which should, again, theoretically, should start tomorrow. Um, and then it should go, uh, I should have it tomorrow, uh, Tuesday, sorry, tomorrow is Tuesday. I should have it tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, and be released to go home Thursday afternoon, um, as long as I don't have a reaction to the treatment. I haven't the last two times I've had it, so theoretically that should be okay. Um, uh, look, last time I was in, they forgot to order the treatment. So it ended up having to be delayed by 24 hours, etc. So I'm really gonna have to try and bang the drum tomorrow to make sure they get the treatment ordered from the pharmacy because it's done by the pharmacy down the road, etc. etc. It's really complicated. But all being well, um, things should go a little bit smoother than last time. I really hope I'm not having to record another video in the next few hours or tomorrow saying they've tried to move me and I've refused to have the treatments because that's what I will do. I don't feel safe having it on an open ward. COVID cases are going up all the time. It's in the news. Um, it's not gone away and this is an immunosuppressant drug. I'm not having it on an open ward. It's a private room or not, and every, on, or I'm not having it. And every time somebody comes in, I'm putting my um, FP2 mask on to, to be as safe as I can be. So let's see, um, I'll do a few more video diaries as we go through the process of having the treatment. Okay, bye-bye.